adventurous day out there? Yeah, yeah, adventurous, yeah. Yeah. A kind of poor start, poor finish, but some good stuff in between. Yeah, yeah. Either start, what was that? Obviously, bogey, bogey, what was. Uh, yeah, I just um, misjudged my first part on the first and kind of hit it by a wee bit too far and then didn't make the next one. And then on the second, I was plugged in the greenside bunker and made a, you know, kind of just hacked it out to about 30 feet in two putted. Shay, you must have played a lot of nice stuff in that middle section. Yeah, yeah, really happy. I feel like my game's really solid. Obviously, I, I probably made just a couple of wee mistakes here and there with, with, a, with the type of shot I should have been playing uh, from certain lies or whatever, but on the whole, my game's, yeah, really happy with how I played today. How would you describe conditions? Oh, this, I think that's as easy as we'll get it. Obviously, the rough was a bit damp, so as soon as you were in the rough, it was it, it was hard, even if, if the lie looked good. Like, on the last there, I've hit it down the left rough, but the lie's great, and I'm, you know, it's, that sucked me in to trying to hit a six iron, which was so stupid. And then, um, so yeah, like, as soon as it's damp like that, it does just snag the club. But on the whole, the conditions, I think, are probably the easiest we'll get it. You played a lot here over the years. That finish doesn't get any easier despite that, does it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's probably the best thing about the course, to be honest. You know, 16, 17, 18. And you know you've got that coming. So I think you, f you feel like you want to make your score before getting to those holes. Do you, do you yeah. think the scores made on the front nine today? I know you had a poor start, but generally the girls seem to have done better on the front nine. Yeah, probably. And then, but then probably right up until 16, because you've got a good chance on 12 and 14, the two par fives. So you've got like a good opportunity there to make some birdies. So I'd say those first 14 holes are easier. <laughs> I wouldn't say easy. <laughs> But certainly easier than the than the finish. How many? How, you've played in a few women's opens now. Yeah. Uh, actually, number? my first one was here was ten years 20, ago. Yeah, ten, I qualified it? at Panmure, and, and this was my first one. So this has got a wee special place in my heart. Um, yeah. So 2011 was my first one, and I've played. This is my ninth in total, ninth mm -hmm. open. So nice. wow. yeah, and every time you still get the the real buzz and excitement and. You know, a real special feeling on the first tee. It's almost quite emotional, actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's, it's great. Kind of, it's changed a lot though, in those ten years, and it's now the richest women's golf event in the world. Yeah. Um, merit to do it, given the size of the field, and it's great to see women's golf uh, receiving the recognition it deserves. Absolutely, I think the the RNA have done amazing for us, and the announcement yesterday with the prize fund going up for this year and next year is just you know it's not even it's not even so much about the money it, it's actually like you say giving us the credit we deserve and you know we've always been made to feel like we're lesser than the men but when you get big boosts like that it just it makes you feel great and it, it makes you feel like this is where you want to be playing this is this is the top event in the world and it just makes you really proud to be british and to be here playing the event